Yeah, you're so good. You're awesome. We love you. Thank you all for coming to our first in-person event in way too long. It is such a delight to see all your faces. Thank you so much. Uh, but, you know, we all want to get to what Chris Berry has to present today, so I don't want to take up too much time. And really, the market update is kind of more of the same. So let's just get right into it. So here we are. My name is Taylor. Once again, so here we have total active listing. You can see the red bar. That is a 2021 line. The green one is 2020. The blue is 2019. Obviously, what we'll see uh, in 2021, very few listings in general. We've seen a slight trend up here, 3,700, 3,300 last month. So there's been a little bit of a, an increase now. And we're kind of maybe returning to some of the similar 2020 numbers, um, but you know. Crazy low inventory. This is no surprise. So moving on, new listings. Uh, this is a bit more exciting, kind of getting closer to the 2019 numbers perhaps, but new listings once again increasing just a bit here from last month um, and we're kind of in between what we've seen in 2020 and 2019. So a bit more normal uh, in terms of new listings coming to the market as opposed to those active listings but getting closer and staying more in the middle of what we typically see around this time of year. Uh, pending sales, pending sales still way up, and even with those total active listings on the market being incredibly low, 40 or 50% of what we typically see, we're still having pending sales, we're still having closed sales. Uh, so pending sales down just a little bit from last month, but overall still very strong, very high numbers. Uh, and this is probably my favorite slide so far. So typically, um, you see those those colored bars over there. In the month of June, the typical trend is for closed sales to be going down, but in June, close, the most closed sales that we've seen ever in the past five years. Uh, so that is exciting. The red bars just keep climbing, and the other bars. So I'm keen, I'm very curious to see what will happen going forward in the next 30 days, but overall, uh, definitely a good time to be selling a profit. Um, this is just the average immediate sales price for all of the properties. Uh, obviously, it's going to be a slightly linear, but the rate at which it's increasing has increased just a little bit on the tail end here. So once again, a great time to hold property. Um, yeah, you've seen some good appreciation over the past 12 months if you are a property owner. Once again, another crazy, crazy graph. Uh, the total market time for properties listed has decreased yet again by one day, down to 21 days now. So if you have priced your home accurately and it's on the market, you should expect for that property to, to sell in three weeks, which is a very, very fast time frame, very uncommon, unheard of. So quite amazing. Uh, more of the same here, inventory in months. I mean, ever since November of 2020, we have never passed over one month of inventory. For those, just to recap what that means, uh, inventory in months is basically the number of uh, months that the total market would sell out if no more homes would be put onto the market. So for a number that was posted in June of 0.8, in uh, about 0.8 months, all the homes would quote unquote sell out if none were to be put on the market. Just to put that in reference, a typical balanced market is five months of inventory. So Portland has been a perpetual seller's market, but right now it's an extremely crazy seller's market. So more of the same there. Uh, here we see some percent changes year over year, month over month. Um, some notable things to point out, you know, new listings did increase 17.5% month over month. That's why we got that slight bump there on the graph of few slides back. Pending sales down with just 3.3%, um, not too alarming, but somewhat significant. But closed sales up 28.3% uh, for year over year changes. Pretty ridiculous. Total market time down 49.3%. Uh, kind of unbelievable. Moving on to some multifamily statistics. You know, multifamily has been a very, very hot, very, very popular product. And you know, we're seeing more of that here. It's uh, kind of exciting to see a VA finance uh, property being sold there. 
Shout out to Mike. Thank you, Mike. Always creative with what you can do. But, you know, thank you so much. The market is very hot. If you're looking to buy, I know you know the struggles. And if you're looking to sell and your property's priced right, I'm sure you have multiple offers to choose from. Thank you.